Good morning, everyone. It is actually 729. I'm getting ready to go to the dentist. This is the first time I've been to this dentist with my new insurance for work. Um, I figured to bring you guys along with me because I think this is going to end up being a thing because there's some stuff that I want to do, maybe hopefully braces or aligners. So I want to bring you guys along with me on this journey. But I'm running a few minutes late. Yes, I'm driving um, and I'm getting ready to put the phone down. So I will see you when we get there. Okay, so I'm done. It wasn't that bad. I'll be honest with you. Dentists give me the most anxiety ever um, but it's a new dentist and I've never been here before and he's new to the practice he's a young dentist and very down to earth very easy to talk to I felt so completely comfortable um, which is great so what we are doing my teeth are bad like bad bad so I've got some missing teeth because um, I had like fillings when I was younger definitely couldn't afford to have um, crowns or anything so like I've lost teeth due to that a lot of shifting just a whole bunch of stuff going on and I want to be open and honest with you guys because not everybody has perfect teeth and not everybody has a mouthful of crowns and veneers that's definitely not me um so now that I'm at a point in my life where I can actually take care of what I can that's my plan that's what I want to do so we've got a couple um I think three that we decided we're going to crown and then I need to talk to them about or we're discussing um, either like braces or the aligners like I was saying and then either like some implants in a couple of areas but I don't know um, I'm freezing sorry I'm shaking um, but that's it that was the dentist um, I actually have to go to work now which sucks but I got a lot to do so I need to go and get that finished but yeah I'll come back um, after work and I think Logan and I are gonna go to dinner after work when I get off so you'll get to see Logan well I don't think he's ever been in a video um, but I'll make him do it so you'll get to see my oldest but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get to work and get the rest of this day finished Okay, you guys, so obviously it's the next day. Um, Logan and I had so much fun together. I'm so glad I got to see him. I didn't spend a whole lot of time like filming him or anything because I just wanted to like appreciate the time that we were spending together. But anyway, it is now Saturday. I got to sleep until 10 o'clock this morning and it felt so incredibly good. Also, I'm still fighting like this congestion, whatnot, and my face feels so swollen bad like I know it's most of it's fat but it just feels extremely swollen um anyway so I'm at Lowe's um there's a couple things that I want to get I'm actually filming that huge decor declutter video on my cleaning channel today um so I needed to come get some like tape for boxes and I also wanted to find some yard sale stickers also I want to look for like a Roman shade type thing to go over my kitchen um like behind my kitchen sink window so hopefully they have something here. Also, obviously, I did not shower. It's This is my day of whatever. Do you guys go to Lowe's without a shower? I really don't care. I mean, it's 70 degrees out, like one of the first nicest days we've had in so long. And it is crawling with people. So fingers crossed I don't see anybody. But anywho, um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff that I want to get done today. But I don't want it to be like so rushed. 
I think we've talked about that. I'm just gonna get done what I can get done. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me to Lowe's. We'll see what we can find. We will probably find a lot more things that we did not come for and that we don't need, but that we will um, probably pick up. So yeah, let's go see if we can find some Roman shades. Also, there's like the cutest dog in this truck beside me and I can't stop um, looking at it, but he does not want anything to do with me. He won't even give me any attention. He's like a little poodle mix of something. Precious. That's the other thing that I love about coming to Lowe's is everybody brings their dogs and so you get to see them. Hopefully, maybe I'll see some when I get in. But let's hurry up and get in there, see what we can find so we can get home and get started on all of our stuff. from Lowe's. I could not find any little price tag things, so I figured I would stop by the Dollar Gentro on my way home, see if they have any little yard sale stickers. If not, I'm just gonna get like a roll of masking tape and just use that. Um, also, I would love to see if this Dollar General has all of their stuff out because every time I come to this one, I think I tell you guys, it is nothing but aisles full of boxes of inventory because they have nobody to do it. But you know what? This store has been this way since before the pandemic, so there's that. Um, also, I wanna see if they have any Scrub Daddy sponges. I need a new one. And I'm always looking at new cleaners. I don't know why it's an obsession, along with other things I'm obsessed over. Um, but yeah, let's go in here and see if they've got anything new. Also, I did pick up Girl Scout cookies. I wanted those lemon ones, like the frosted lemon ones. They didn't have them and I was so upset. Um, but I did get two boxes of the Tagalongs. Is that what they're called? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Tagalongs, the little peanut butter ones. Um, so we're super excited for that. Did I need them? No, but I had to support the girls. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's also hotter than hell, and I have on a sweatshirt and sweatpants, so we love that. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is where the sponges are, and you cannot even get to anything well maybe I can get to sponges but I don't think they have any um I don't think they have any scrub daddies oh 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 they have a scrub mommy all right we're gonna go ahead and grab that 
I also want like the um, the little holder for this that goes in the sink, but I can't find one. I mean, just stuff everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I hope this music isn't really loud, um, but they do have some really cute like little spring stuff. I love that. I don't know what I would do with it, but I love it. All of these little jars are so cute. How much is this? Three dollars. Those are two dollars. Oh, they're like little salt and pepper shakers. Adorable. Oh my god. This little dough bowl candle. Are you kidding? Six dollars. Uh, you're coming home with me. These are so cute too. I love the beehive, um, you know, print that they're putting on everything. Adorable. So cute. Okay, I have been looking for 20 minutes and I cannot find anything remotely close to like a yard sale sticker pack. I've got one before at Walmart, um, but I didn't want to drive all the way to Walmart. So I think maybe what I'll do what if I use these little post-it tabs? Will that work? Or should I just get a thing of masking tape? Shoot, because I'm afraid those will like fly off. I think we're gonna do masking tape. Now I just have to find that. So I think something like this is just gonna have to work. Um, it's cheap and I, I can stick it on pretty much everything. So masking tape it is. If you hear that, that's Bodie over there eating. Um, but also, I did pick up this little watering can that I thought would look really cute up here. Maybe. Let's see. Perfect. Yeah, it just kind of evens it out, I think. What do you think? Yay or nay? Over here, over here. I think it looks good right there. Okay, so these are the blinds I got. They are the Allen and Roth. They're called cellular blinds. Um, they are white, and if you forgot what that window looks like, that is it. I'm so over this, so hopefully this works. I'm going to quickly, quickly put these up and see how I feel about them. All right, I got them up. It actually was not really that hard at all. The only thing is I can't get the little um, thing attached here to pull it up and down, but I'll get it on eventually. But they're really, really nice. They um, just pull them up and down. So you still get light. You can't really see because it's dark. But you still get light in the house, but you don't have that huge curtain. And then you just push it up absolutely obsessed i'm so stinking glad that i finally did it i also picked up this little candle this dobo candle for six dollars and i was thinking of that right there i didn't really want to like really put a whole bunch of stuff on this table but i think it's cute what do we think what do you think bob yes or no should I leave it? Should I take these down? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. We'll let it sit there for just a second. Um, we'll walk away, come back, and see what we think. Okay, so I actually took a shower and went back out to the store. I needed to go to Walmart to get some things. And it's raining outside, and I hate walking in the rain. It's just like that drizzle just enough to irritate you, but not enough to make you want to get your umbrella out and fight all of that mess. But I actually need to go downstairs and start doing that decor declutter. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. If you watch my other channel, you probably have noticed I haven't put up a video in like a week. And I had just gotten to a point where I was like in a funk with it. Um, once you're doing something over and over again for three years, I'm sure you guys really understand when I'm talking about here but I just felt stuck like nothing was really I don't know I just hadn't had the feeling of really enjoying putting up those videos for a little bit um 
but I'm feeling better about it. And I think I honestly just needed like the mental rest and the physical rest, to be honest with you. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen where I have mentioned just a couple of times that I had started taking Ambien like two months ago um, because I could not sleep, could not stay asleep. And then that was making me tired all day. And then that was making my whole body hurt. It's just a whole kit and caboodle of things. So I've also gained like 16 pounds in the last two months and that's actually a side effect of Ambien so I wanted to get myself off of it <laughs> because a Ambien is just meant for you meant to help you get to sleep not stay asleep so there's one issue too you're not supposed to be taking it for very long it's just like um like an aid for just a little bit um and I think it's just pretty much ran its course but I did go um, to Walmart, like I said earlier, and I got some of the z -Quil, like sleep ones. So we'll see because I have tried melatonin and all that good stuff. I just literally cannot stay asleep. Like I, my eyes will just pop wide open at like 2 a.m. and then I'm miserable for the rest of the day. Anyway, that's pretty much what I've been dealing with. And I think just resting for this last week and not like making myself crazy with anxiety like oh I gotta go home I gotta do this it's like boom 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 as soon as I get home and then as soon as I try to get something done it's like oh, time to go to bed because if you've ever taken Ambien before you have to take it um in time to give yourself at, at least eight hours of sleep otherwise you're gonna feel like total garbage the next day and I get up at five in the morning to go to work and I don't want to feel like garbage anyway so that's basically what I've been up to, plus my other little project that I'm not telling you guys about yet, but soon you you will know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I've I've kind of enjoyed like vlogging these little bits and pieces of what I do here daily, here and there. So if you're enjoying it, let me know. Um, again, I don't think my life is that fantastic. Well, wait, let me retract that. My life is very fantastic, but it's not very entertaining. So I'm like, okay, well, what, what am I going to show you guys? But like my little shopping trips and hauls and stuff like that, you know, just kind of like let you in on what I'm doing if you care. But that's about it. I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to change and I'm going to get downstairs and get into that decor. I cannot wait to get all that stuff out of my house. I'm so excited. You have no idea. But uh, that's about it. I'm going to go. I got stuff to do, but I hope you guys enjoy this little bit of vlog video and I hope you guys come back for the next one. But for now, I'm going to go. I love you and appreciate you. Bye. Okay.